What's your IT personality? You ever wondered that? Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan. So recently, my boy Mikhail Casanova hit me up. Was like, "Yo, I just took this test, and they told me that I'd be perfect for Security Plus." I was like, "Man, I already knew that." <laughs> but anyway, he told me about this test that will tell you your IT personality. But before we get to the test, what I want to do is shout out Mikhail. I'll have a link in the description to my boy Mikhail Casanova's YouTube. But when you get a chance, go check him out. He does some really great tech reviews. He's very animated, has a lot of energy. He used to do music also, so a lot of his intros is dope. His music is dope. Check him out. Tell him I sent you and give me some love. Now, about this, what's your IT personality? Have you ever wondered which CompTIA exam would be best for you? Well, CompTIA has a test out there that you can take that'll let you know exactly what field would be best for you. How about we take that now? Because I never took it. I don't know what field is best for me. Let's check it out. Okay, so on Google, if you type in what's your IT personality, or you can just click the link in the description, and it'll go to CompTIA's IT personality quiz. We'll get here once this loads up. All right, so here, now that we're here, what's your IT personality? And it says, just like in life, in IT, people exhibit different personality traits. Take this quiz to find out what's your IT personality and see which CompTIA certification is right for you. I've never taken this test. Let's see how I do. Click take the quiz and it says, I just said, what types of responsibilities do you like to have? Same task every day, managing staff workers, working on big projects. Hmm. I like working on big projects and I like helping people solve problems. Hmm. Let's say working on big projects. At what level would you say your IT skills are? I would say um, not intermediate. I would say I'm more advanced, I'm not a master. Which are you more comfortable with? Helping others with basic hardware and software and technology. <laughs> Testing networks for security loopholes. That could be fun. Analyzing user behavior and data to identify security threats. That would be fun. Creating and developing new applications with Linux. Nah, I would say test the networks for security loopholes. The word that describes me best is outgoing, thorough, practical, smart. I'm pretty outgoing. I'm pretty smart. Not too practical. Um, I'm, I'm sort of thorough. Let's go outgoing. Which are you most interested in doing? Designing, organizing, discussing ideas, or solving problems? Hmm. I like to solve problems. Which term describes the computer code that allows your computer to function? Would it be Windows, Matrix, Operating System, or Linux? Let's go Operating System. Alright, what does the abbreviation SCSI stand for? Shielded Computer System Interface. Secure computer system interface, small computer system interface, or serial computer system interface. Which one do you guys think? Which of these roles interests you the most? Hmm. Would it be database administrator? Nah. Security system analyst? That'd be fun. Developer? Not really. Business administrator? That's boring. Hey, if you're a business administrator, you're cool. <laughs> Which of the following? Best matches your expertise. Windows 10, yeah. System administration, yeah. HDI certification, mm. development, nah. System administration. Which of the following soft skills would you say you're best at? Creating, problem solving, managing, collaborating, or analyst? Mm, I would say, how about problem solving? I like to solve problems. What is an optical drive? 
I know it's 2017, so all you um, youngsters out there that may not know what a CD-ROM is or a DVD-ROM is, let's go through this together. A connection port for fiber optic broadband, a drive that provides a visual into storage space left on the device, a drive that uses laser light to read or write data such as CD, DVD, or Blu-ray drive, a drive that uses infrared beams rather than electrical current to perform digital computations. Hmm. An optical drive. I would say, how much experience do you have in identifying and addressing cybersecurity threats? I do not have much experience in that security field. I've gained some experience working with networks, but I have a lot to learn. Yeah, I think that's me. I know how to protect my network and combat threats, but I am just starting to learn how to proactively analyze behavior and prevent threats. Hmm. I'm a proud holder of almost every certification you can name and have spent a number of years working in IT security. I wish, but that's not me. How about I've gained some experience working with networks, but I have a lot to learn. Boom. So once you complete the exam, you'll have to enter your email address to see your results. I'll enter my email address now, and we'll see how this goes. Congratulations. Looks like I'm suitable for the Security Plus exam. So that was pretty fun. I already got my Security Plus, but I also have my A Plus. So take this test with a grain of salt. What this is telling me is that, yes, my interest on in these questions do tend to lead towards the Security Plus. But guys, when you're taking this test, don't let that be your main focus. Don't be afraid to experiment and don't be afraid to go after your dreams of what you truly are interested in. So take the test, have fun, let me know how you did in the comment section below. And as always, share this video, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. Peace.